per week for the next six months. So you get 48 gigs, but it is a telecom SIM card. So preferably you need to get a Bernard Esso phone with a dual SIM card. Bastanji, <laughs> yeah. So we're going to be doing two draws this year. Maso, yes, you're in a drama. Yes. Can you hear us from Can you hear us Ik heb het niet meer. 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 Ik heb
live streaming the show <laughs> and that's what's up i know and i see somebody is angry uh, uh, raw is very angry at neville because uh never let her curse so in his studio so apologies apologies uh, disclaimer to for us that's a good never the views and expressions i i didn't know What? the mic was open okay uh, because the music was playing okay so can you production guys ne, who opened the mic without us knowing ne? yeah so say the views sorry, and opinions expressed on the show <laughs> Just do the disclaimer. So uh, the views, uh, ex- ex- well, a disclaimer, Maggie. That was off air anyway. So uh, no, I really didn't know the mic was open. No, I nobody. Would, I think all of us did not know. I, I didn't know. So uh, apologies if you. Mar- that is so a soft word, so be so. <laughs> so just chill, bro. Oh, I did not know the mic was open. Yeah. Oh. Morro. Morro. Yeah. But at the same time, uh, just uh, so you know, like Jelen only can say it's in for Mantene. The views and opinions expressed on the radio program by the guests. Come on, let's go. What is the problem? Good morning, guys. Welcome to the morning mix. It's a Tuesday. And uh, today we've got a guest, uh, a fourth person. Ni katutura DJ Sos Eki, because we're going to be katutura DJ according to Neville. So, good morning, Maria. Good morning. What's it? No, I'm good. Good, eh? Mm-hmm. Nefile? I guess, nah. <laughs> But I will not, uh, no, first introduce the guest. <laughs> No, well, the guest must introduce He's saying himself. he's fine, but then he has a complaint. So clearly yeah. he's not really fine. Yeah. So get to the point, so, Neva. Let's get do, that. Do that. So prat me... your story. Yeah, prat your story. Yeah, prat your story. Prat your story. Okay. Just introduce yourself. <laughs> no, I, I want Maria to introduce me. Like, I, I want to I wanna <laughs> hear get how that, you that, would that introduce bio. me. Mega house, yeah. powerhouse, what, what, what. Okay, Drum I'm roll. Ready to, I'm ready to do, do the introduction. <laughs> no, no, you Drum do roll. it. Please, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the one, the only, <laughs> Reginald. <laughs> All right, no, on a serious note, mm-hmm. um, we have a... Uh, Can I call you a mega creative? I I mean I'm just happy to be touching you at this point. I look at you, okay. the creative uh, itself. <laughs> so we have we have Reginaldo in studio. Do you prefer Reggie? I call him Reggie. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, all right. Um, Reggie is one of the create. I think the only Namibian creative, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, that no, no. that has worked on Black is King. Oh yeah. 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 So the only Namibian creative that has worked on Beyonce is big project right now i think it's everybody's talking about it um it's what one hour 25 minutes yeah um, yeah movie by Dis- <coughs> disney streaming it right yeah um so reginaldo um i think gave visuals from namibia yeah. to the project yeah but basically. we will dive into that okay um what else do you do reggie yeah. besides partying and being in the gym oh wow look at you <laughs> um Okay, so I've got my 8 to 5, um, work for in Namibia, and um, basically I'm a humanoid like everyone, learning stuff and unlearning stuff, and just going through life and the system and experiencing the world. So yeah, that's it. That's it. Did it die long bios, I know. <laughs> like an old biography. Ask me, I have a long one. Yeah, like Mira. I haven't like planned <laughs> it out <laughs> yet, but I'm getting there. Don't worry. Getting there, yeah. right? So otherwise, welcome to our studios. You Thank comfortable? You. Neville I'm getting comfortable. Neville, Neville, comfortable. Neville is making me a bit nervous, but I'm. Yeah. I don't know. Neville is by a nerd. Can you go with Neville? I smell of sex. Lester, Lester, say me as a belief, ne? Please, let us see back again. You know, I walk in here this morning. Okay, come on. He sits here <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. Ever since the show started, Maria walks in here like, hello, Maria. <laughs> 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 hola, 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 hola. So you know what? We, you, me, Cubase, we've never got this treatment from Maria. From Maria, <laughs> ever. I saw that. And I was also pra, like, huh? yo, where Kuma has me pra? And you know what? Okay, when no. did Maria ever touch me? Like yeah, that? no, no, no. Normally, if you come and you wanna give her, uh, come on, Corona, Corona, Corona. corona. <laughs> no, that's <a> Corona fan. <laughs> no, that's a Corona fan. Ah, to them. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Maria, you're bringing me problems, you see now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so just play, it's it. Yeah. <laughs> My brother. Yeah. On a serious note, 
Congratulations. Thank you. I think it's uh, when 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 Maria spoke to to us about it yesterday. Yeah. And I was, I saw snippets of this Black is King. Uh, is it a movie or is it a documentary or, or yeah maybe you can yeah let us in on this Beyonce project. Yeah. Um, so basically, it's a visual art piece that Beyonce did. Um, it's music videos and a movie. Um, it's based on the, um, on the Lion King. Uh-huh. Um, and the message behind it is basically just trying to get our identity and our dignity back as black people. Mm. Power. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So your role, what, what, what role did you play in everything? I saw very beautiful pictures, eh? Um, the, the Himba pictures that you guys shared in the group. Yeah. Okay, so um, actually, Maria, Maria also helped in this. Eh? She helped me get. Ah. I just didn't get the credits. Yeah, um, so I've been working on my own personal projects mm -hmm. um, with the Himba ladies. Yeah, and basically, and like I told you, we we're currently learning and unlearning things mm -hmm. as you're experiencing life. And um, one of the things that I've learned is that us as human beings, or especially <coughs> Black people our identity and dignity has been stripped from us. Yeah. So basically, once I take away your identity and your dignity, I then give you the identity that you need to adopt, and I basically define you. And because we're going through a lot of um, problems within the system, so one tends to question and ask, but I mean, why is the world like this? Why is yeah. this happening and why is that happening? So I came to understand that, um, okay, one of the major problems is that we've been stripped of our identity and our dignity. And then I, um, I had to come to a point to realize where where was this point before we w this was taken away from us. So mm. your English is a problem. And um, <laughs> uh, me and Maria, we were once um, talking and working on a project. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're still going to work on yeah, it. Yeah, we're right? still going to work on it. Yeah. And so this led me to then um, find the Himba woman because the Himba people are basically the people that decided, you know what, you're going to come with your identity and tell us that I shouldn't be this way, but I'm going to stick to what I am yeah. and who yeah. I am. Yeah. Yeah. In modern times. Yeah, in modern times, yeah. And um, since I'm a Bantu, and a Himba is a Bantu, I mm. mean, so that's basically a perfect reference for me. So I started chilling with these Himba women and chilling with them and working on my project with them. And then I started putting them on my social media. And um, because I put them on my social media, and um, basically I expose them out there. And it's a big platform. Yeah, and um, because obviously Homegirl B was looking for original African mm. um, culture, so they came across it and then they called me and like, hey, um, we want you to shoot in a movie uh -huh. with the Himba ladies. So I was like, oh, okay. <coughs> so then I basically did all the logistics and I got all the paperwork together and then I flew down to S and then I got there and I got on set and I was checking and I was like when when was this where did you go down to South Africa um last year in November oh, okay. so if I'm since not mistaken, November this this you guys have had to be quiet about this project oh I've been trying but I did because <laughs> I signed a NDA so yeah. yeah yeah um yeah so we flew down and I'm looking on set and then I checked the logo and I was like oh now I get it so yes, so then they briefed me <coughs> on it, um, and then they asked the input like about the Himba people, um, what they do, where they come from, and whatnot, and how we could basically incorporate the Himba people into a project, and then that's how it went. So, so just to be clear, because I, I saw some social media um, questions whether Beyonce was in Namibia. So Beyonce was not in Namibia. Let us be clear. No, she was not in she Namibia. She was not in Namibia. No. <laughs> and did you guys do any of the shots here in Namibia? Did they? Sh did you guys shoot in Namibia? No, 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 it, no. So everything was recreated in South Africa. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, it was basically shot in Durban, um, in Zululand. Aha. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah. So did you have to get Himba women there, or is it just people pretending to be Himbas? No, I had to get the original. So you flew Himba women? Yeah. I basically had to get them birth certificates. I had to get them passports in one day Yo. and then all of that. And then I flew with them. People were actually thinking these were my wives as I was walking <laughs> with them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy is too and as proud wise. as they are always. Yeah. I love Himba women because they're always proud. You, you, you said when you, let's get to the part where they gave you a call because as you were explaining it, you were like not sure if it's a real deal. 
Well, look, it's like you're in between brackets. Tell us about the call. How did you really get to find out that this is the real deal? I didn't know what it was. For yeah. Me. I just thought, hey, it's a movie that we're going to go shoot. Mm -hmm. So obviously, um, these people are interested in the Himba ladies. So, okay, let's go shoot the movie. So I didn't know it was going to be like this big. Mm -hmm. Only when we got there and we got on set. And, and mind you, even when we were on set, they didn't like um, speak about it. They didn't say who it was for like... Hold the mod, you yes. know, like you can't mention that name. It was one of those. But then as I put two and two together, I was like, oh, okay. Okay, now I get it. Did you meet the queen herself? Once <laughs> 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 Belvia. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Yeah, okay, you didn't. All right. Oh, my word. So it seems, yeah, this is what I'm understanding. It, yeah. it seems creatives, a lot of creatives, and we're speaking from the African diaspora, like came and did work. Uh, yeah. in in isolation <laughs> yeah. and some of them were obviously fortunate enough to shoot her themselves but yeah. i think for the most part um there were creatives that did kind of projects on the side that uh -huh. was then incorporated in yeah. this movie right yeah. that's or exactly what happened yeah. Yeah. all right yeah. it's, it's something good yeah you what what does it mean for namibia yeah i think it's it's not even namibia in itself i mean i think it's just like black people um, just the mere fact that um, we're at a point where we need to start celebrating ourselves mm -hmm. and we need to realize that it's good enough to be black, it's good enough to be where you come from and um, that you need to actually define yourself, if True. that makes sense to you. So, um, and, and that's why I'm really happy that I worked on this project because it's not, it's not about the pop culture in itself, it's about the message behind it. And mm -hmm. Just the mere fact that you can hashtag black is king and mm. black is king. And finally, we black can... Black is also queen. Uh, no, king, queen, same thing. <laughs> 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 Here we go. <laughs> so... Uh, how do I put this? So it's, 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 it's beautiful that um, we've come to a point where we as black people need to then define ourselves yeah and that's why we've been having major problems in Africa is because if you don't know who you are originally mm -hmm. and I can tell you you need to be like this then I'll tell you what to wear what to eat mm -hmm. what gods to worship mm -hmm. you know and stuff like that and I'll define that for you and I can then use that to my advantage mm -hmm. and I'll tell you you should wear Louis Vuitton or you should mm -hmm. wear Nike and yeah. then what will you do you will take all that energy and all that resources and you invested in Nike and you yeah. invested in become Louis Vuitton westernized. yeah you'll become westernized I'm mm -hmm. sorry that I'm saying this <coughs> and um yeah, and you won't love your brother because you don't love yourself. Mm. Because you first need to love your true self for what you are and who you are before you can basically love the environment, before you can love that that is like you, mm. and then before you can love actually people outside, yeah. if that makes sense yeah, to you. Yeah. So once we come to a point where we start loving ourselves for what we are and who we are, I think then eventually we'll end up having a peaceful world, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not lost on us, I think, that... No, they, they, they focused on, on the Himba, who I think, like you say, if you're talking about people that have maintained their identity yeah. in an ever-changing world with technology and, I mean, Western influence, and the Himba tribe more, I think, than... And, well, and the San community. And the San community. Those yes. two really stand yes, out. Yes, but they've, they've really been able to, to, to maintain the core of who they are in terms of identity, in terms of, of practices. Yes, a lot of them have modernized a little bit, but they, they maintain the core of who they are. And I think in an ever-changing world, that's very, very beautiful to, to see. And it, it was nice to see the Himba. I didn't see the whole thing, mm. um, but I, it was nice. I, I saw uh, clips of it, and it was really nice to see the, the depiction of the Himba women in, in, in that mm. uh, video. Yeah, Simona Mushira <laughs> say, all I hope is that uh, they have been paid well. Mm. No, like, With yeah. the payment? Yeah. Yeah. Beyonce. Yeah. Beyonce. No, look, uh, let me be honest. Had I known beforehand it was going to be for Beyonce, I think I would have Jizal charged have it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Jizal, have Jizal, 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 Jizal. But then um, <coughs> for what we did, I think we got compensated quite well. And um, I'm, I gave them this shit. Hmm. Yeah. No, come well, and take your like, put me on. They like, they like money. <laughs> they know money. So Kama e guop, exin Maria se uchis mag harkis very well. That is Raymond. Let, <laughs> Raymond Basson. Raymond Basson. Come and say you it's na. Come and say, come and say, yalla it's. Come and say, yalla it's. 
<laughs> Actually, Rich is a very good friend of mine. Okay, so this is not <laughs> what you guys are thinking. It's a. You see, let me tell you the problem with this studio, right? Uh-huh. They cannot. They don't understand <laughs> that a male. An attractive male uh-huh. at that. Uh-huh. And an attractive woman. <laughs> and an attractive <laughs> no, the woman. <laughs> and an attractive no. <laughs> they don't yeah? understand that we can just be friends. Uh, so please, so yeah. please, I, 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 g- guys, I give we're you. We're just friends. Yeah, please. Put, we're just friends. Please, please. Well, uh, Reggie, you're single, right? I just want <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> and, <laughs> don't put my things out there, but yes. Yeah. Reggie <laughs> is single. Yes. Reggie is single if, if you guys, <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, you are not the PR over it. That's my bra. I just, I just want him to be happy Kuma and to find Reggie love single. and to find love. It's like he's the spokesperson, yeah. Yeah, it's my bra. Reggie it's was me. like, maybe I'm single, maybe I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> In between, how can you take the dead Take the Reggie. Yeah, it's like. Reggie's like, man. Reggie's so confused. He's like, I came here to I'm talk about my the boss show. I just keep quiet for now. <laughs> Reggie came to talk about black and skin, and you guys are talking about other things. Puxi, Puxi and Anya say, I wear my Felende Regina. Oh, Puxi, who's it? It's on the show. Big ups, homie. Keep doing uh, big things, yeah? That's ah, a message nice. from Puxi. And, uh, Maria, she said, she said, that is exceptional Namibian. That is raw Vieira Matsuoko. Check it out, Leonard. It's a... Leonard D. Samuel, come on, Maria shooting her shot on A. But yes, I wanted to ask, <coughs> why didn't you put me on the project? Well, I now I'm shooting my shot. I, I didn't know. <laughs> you didn't know it's a Beyonce project. Yeah, I didn't know. But I'm, I'm very proud of you. I saw when I saw the, the credit and I saw your name, <coughs> I think it was just a moment for us. Like, not just creators, um, but Namibia. It's just to, to see one of our own getting credits on on a big project and i mean black is king is i think currently mm. the biggest project and yeah and beyonce does big things but i think this is currently her biggest uh, i'm talking about and almost and it's close to home yeah, and it's close to nice, home yeah. i mean with you you know what's going on in the usa with with the with the with the exactly. with the demonstrations and the protesting that's going yeah. on yeah. And, and as redefining who we are especially in the circumstances of like COVID 19 where we're forced to really look at ourselves and really really because we only have ourselves now we don't have exactly. we can't do anything if you're like on lockdown and you're stuck at, at home you have to kind of s- you're stuck with yourself and mm. you need to start need redefining to. and looking at yourself so i think the timing of this project is just so phenomenal mm. And the fact that we have a Namibian uh, to represent us is even bigger for us. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a big celebration. So we're proud of you, Reggie. Okay. Keep doing the yes. things. Yeah. Keep doing the things. Okay, live, live. Yes, be a Neville. So Neville, a good one. Just create for an entanglement, friendship, relationship. What's like how now? Yeah, <laughs> how? I don't understand now. Live is here. Live exi. I start calling live exi exi from now on. Okay, please explain yourself. But but Reggie, uh, once again, it, and it's good to see you. We haven't seen each other now for for quite some time mm. since I left Virgin. I've been giving you competition. You decided to quit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now I came and find you again. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, Reggie, I used to meet him down there at the gym uh-huh. for for a very long time. But since I stopped my membership at Virgin. We haven't really seen each other in, in quite a while, so but it's good to see you, okay. and it's and it's really I think the the project in itself is quite commendable, mm. but yeah, I I do think that they should have given you a heads up <laughs> about what this project was all about. Nah. Yeah. So next time, so I could get more coins. For my us. brother, you need to be ready with your quotation. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to ask. So so where to from here? I mean, getting a mention credit from. A project as big as um, um, Black is King, you see your name there. You're on the map now. Who is Reggie, and and what are you gonna do with that? I I know once Beyonce, as they say, put you on, puts you on. The the opportunities become endless. So what's what's next for you, Reggie? Yeah. Um. You 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 can't really predict the future, right? Mm-hmm. Um. As long as you stick to um, what you believe in. Um, and I feel as individuals, we should advocate, um, who English coming in? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> I feel like we should, 
we are all activists, right? Yeah. Um, we all have a conscience. We all have uh, morals that we live by, and we reflect on that. And you want you you wear your banner, you wear your mm -hmm. flag. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to be an example for your kids. You want to be an example for the people around you. And so you'd always want to work within the spaces that basically best define you in that regard, if I make sense to you. Mm. And I mean, that's I, that's, I feel that's how I got where I got right now, mm. because I, I really uh, believed in identity and dignity. And I feel like that's what I'm always going to preach on mm. and um, push forward, because I want people to be happy and I mm. want us as a community, because we live in a community and we all just want to be happy. So yeah. I feel... Um, I, I'm a like I'm a creative, right? And I just wanna do stuff that will basically um, decolonize minds and make people see the world for what it actually is, because the world is information, mm -hmm. and um, we need to <coughs> take in the right information, or we need to take in information honestly, um, and not have other people create perceptions of for what us, it's supposed yeah. to be. So you won't see red as pink when it's actually red, because other people. What are color saying, is my hair? Pink. Silver. Silver, pink, see. Royal, red, but pink, it's pink. <laughs> purple. But yeah, so um, you won't have other people tell you something is pink when it's actually red, it's just red. because you they've instilled fear in you and mm. they made you perceive it for something that it's not. And I feel like we need to come to a point where we actually take in information honestly and we tell information for the truth that it is so that mm -hmm. we can basically filter out all the problems that we're having in society and in the world, if I mean yeah. Okay, sure. just to read a, a comment from S. Tomish. He says, morning, you all. Uh, it's uh, it's good that the Imbas are used in big international projects. Mm -hmm. uh, their red sand was also used in uh, Black Panther. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 So so recognition coming through right there. Thank talk, you, talk, talk about Zimbabwe when you talk about Black is King. That's a uh, Shanice coming through. Mm. Okay. We all know what's currently happening in Zimbabwe. <laughs> There's a sadly. chapter mm. of yeah. Se Eyeda. Uh, now on the fun side, uh, mm -hmm. Leslie uh, Kamasev came through saying Reggie was Delish's high school boyfriend. Hi, bro, guys. Why is this haunting me for <laughs> Making up for the Friday, Delish kept us waiting. Oh, hey, we're hey. to have. Oh, come on, so what a story. <laughs> Check my name. <laughs> Let's see it. Oh, my God. Levels just gotten a bit of gossip and he's going to crunch on it. <laughs> so, <know>. how <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. My delish, Leo. Listen, bro. Can I get Franny? Can I get my delish, bro? Ah, me as a brief. Ah, but on second no, I'll since last week to get delish into the studio. Ah, even that for her to say, we have to have pump this for the show. So she probably decided, I can't eat that. She doesn't want the hot seat. Yeah. <laughs> So, can you not for delish not a WhatsApp still and say, please, it's not as bad as it is. No, so, bad. wait a minute. So, you guys have been dating as kids or how old? High school. High school. school, you were. Um, I could tell, Mozi. <laughs> I could tell me. Okay. Your past You must just ask the question, you. what happened? Okay, yeah. Uh, Maria, this one, Kama, how did you know he is single? Because he's my friend, duh. They come out how defensive she gets. Yeah. Duh, duh. There's just crickets in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, Reggie, it's not the worst thing for people to assume you and I dated. Yeah. You're most good looking. It's all right. It's assume. not the first time. It's not the first time, exactly. There Apparently, you must submit your yeah. resume. That's Ailey coming through. Ailey Nuyoma. 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 Was with the lady room here. Yeah, yeah. Switch the cameras. Sorry, the other comments. Who's supposed to submit a C CV? You. You must submit your resume. Resume to who? I don't know. I, I think they want him to submit his resume. <gasps> I guess I'll be show El Kedak. Nobody asks me for my resume. All I heard is you must uh, submit your resume. Oh, are, are people submitting resumes, Reggie? Mm -hmm. You are you going I'm, through You said I'm text. single, so we are <laughs> currently tendering. The Same tender is out. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, maybe. Okay. Uh, let me let me see some of the comments here. Joanna Tate Tate. I don't know why some people have so long names on Facebook anyway. But anyway, his Instagram handle, please. I'm asking for a friend. Ooh, Johanna wants your Instagram handle, Reginaldo. Reginaldo Mar. 
Reginaldo underscore Mar. No, it's Is Mar. this one word? Yeah, one word. Reginaldo Mar. There yeah. you have it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie, what? <laughs> that somebody went like that. Apparently, oh shame, uh, a debios entanglement. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, I don't understand why people have issues with entanglement. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think secretly it's a thing. I told them on the show. I told yeah. them people are involved in their open relationships and open marriages. Oh, my phone is ringing. Oh, okay, let me just quickly put that on pause. Okay, no. Oh, the, the, ear, the, the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and at the same time, to everybody that have joined us, I see uh, uh, Kanjego Zedman also joined the stream. Good morning, guys. And uh, Kanjego came through saying, let's talk about the false information that spread onto society that uh, there are Chinese military in Namibia. Okay. Yeah, once yeah, we're, Reggie we're gonna finish yeah. the once show with done with, uh, with Reggie, Reggie. and, and uh, I think that's uh, uh, Tuhu Brodney also came through. Good morning, family. Yeah, just to recognize people that came through. Uh, Muto Mutondanje Gibbs uh, also came through saying good morning, crew. Good morning to everyone. I cannot go through all of you guys, but uh, yeah. we do acknowledge your presence, and uh, yeah. And since since our commentators today are just here for the gossip. Lost thy hood, but before we let you go, Rich, I just wanted to ask. So, so when this project came out, did you go back to the Himba women? Do they know how famous they are? They don't know. They don't. Yeah, because technology mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Tell Homegirl to start an Instagram page. The Himbas. The Himbas. I will. I I went to them and I told them. I mean, I showed them even when we shot the stuff. I was like, so you know, this is Beyonce. What what? Like, oh. I was like, who's Beyonce? <laughs> Okay, she's pretty. Papa Beyonce, Uni, boy. Beyonce, Uni. Uni. All they were like, when are we getting paid? Yeah. <laughs> That's all they want. Yeah, cool, yeah cool. so um, that was our show with Reggie. Reggie, thank you so much for coming here and um, giving us update on uh, the, oh, actually, insight, rather. I think that was the thing. People wanted insight on this project. On it this wasn't project clear. Itself, yeah. Um, and I, I, this, the problem with Onsa commentators, they're not even asking about it. They just want to know about you. Now they want to know about you and Delish. Now they want to know about you and Delish and Adebayo. I so hope stories. Yeah. Delish. Hope stories. De Delish was apparently the one that just called him. I <laughs> 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 Anyway, so let's Ooh, let's delish. Not. don't come here actually. <laughs> don't come here. You want our stories. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was that's that's Reggie, um, our creative. Ec, ec, I wanna say I said exceptional, and somebody was making fun. Yeah, but it's an exceptional mm. visual artist. And also not some work. We will do the things that need to be done. Itself. Yeah, thank you, Reggie. Sure, Reggie. Thank you. Thanks for coming into the studio, my brother. Thanks, I'll man. Just, yeah. I'll and, um, we the miss you at the other place. Eh? You so must come I back. See, Amber will be Amper. Amper will be But that gym, is it even fully equipped? Or is it not three no, no, weights? No, no, no. As poor as a gym. Yeah. It's good it's enough. good enough. Yeah. Mm. No? So Jay Wilson said to try gyms and see if they have to date. So, so, so you, have to, you have to queue for the dumb no, Don't worry, that's why we have blackies king so that they can stop saying this katutura and bura yes. and what what and us blacks we can also be like hey. hey. Also good as no. So good as rare. So true. Yeah. True. Yeah, yeah no, that's true. that's so true, yeah. yeah. Uh, while uh, Maria walks out uh, Reggie, let's quickly just get an update with uh, Neville. We're going to quickly just uh, give you an update on our COVID-19 status at the moment. And as we all know that uh, <laughs> Ventuk has no work that's when the boat. So every day we do get results. But just to give you an update yeah, from uh, our health so minister, that's uh, Kalumbi Shangula. Uh, announced that Namibia has recorded uh, 112 new COVID cases. That's last night when you were spoke positive cases and uh, several recoveries. Now, as a result of implementing new protocol, which are still being verified, one death has also been uh, reported. So we also have uh, a new reported death that was in a Ventuk. It was also reported that this uh, guy had chronic uh, problems. So. Yeah. Yeah, so out of these positive cases, 92 are from Valves, two are from Swakop, one from Mariental, one from Karasberg, one from Ochivarongo, one from Okahanja, and 14 are from Ventuk. 
currently we have 200, uh, 2,406 confirmed cases, 187 recoveries, 2,207 active cases. The death toll stands at 12 cases thus far. 28,514 samples have been tested. And currently we have 1,673 in quarantine. Quickly, before we get into to, to the discussion, okay? Uh, <clears throat> hashtag Drop it, stock hashtag start safe. Hashtag start safe. Now, this is a brilliant, brilliant promotion that we run for you guys who log in every day. Who you guys take your credit, yeah, your data, and um, and you come through every day. So what we decided on doing, okay, um, start safe is a new legal shield product savings product that we run here at trusco now as a way of giving back to you guys if you hashtag just within the comment section as much as possible from now until thursday hashtag start safe okay so friday morning we will draw one name okay and that person will win six months of 48 gigs of free data, okay? You will get a telecom SIM card. So preferably you need to have a dual SIM it's card. CBR telecom. Is it telecom? TN Mobile. Yeah, TN Mobile. mobile. Yes. Okay. So you get, you'll get a TN Mobile SIM card, okay? Of free data, eight gigs, Per week. week for a period of six months for free yeah. mahala. mahala okay so text or post as much as possible but neville where hashtag. do i post the hashtag uh, start safe on our stream on our stream you you post it on our stream okay and we will go through the stream from today until thursday okay post as many times as you want and we will draw your name and you will get free data, 48 gigs of data. Of data. Mahala. Okay? Mahala, yeah. So please start doing can that. Can I also enter? Yeah. It's so good data. Data for what? So you can WhatsApp Reggie or what? I guess <laughs> more. Uh, Jalous Boki. Jalous Boki. I can still feel the testosterone in here. <laughs> can we just sanitize this place, please? <laughs> this guy's aura can just go. <laughs> yeah. uh, Disinfect the whole So we place. can just, just be the two of us. <laughs> yeah, but just to add on to what Neville says, don't forget that uh, we also have uh, live streams on Informante Radio. That's between 12 and 1. So you can also join those streams and hashtag start safe and you can also stand a chance to win. I That's see people are already yeah. hashtagging. Yeah, it's yeah, like please it's, do. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's please a galore do. already going yeah. left, right, center. And I say the means they preferably they must have a, a, an SO cell phone. Dual SIM. What dual SIM <laughs> <was dual. laughs> Yeah. So you can slide this one in, okay? <laughs> and still have the other one to and be able to still use. Have yeah. The other one, okay. But but it's um Preferably I think it's, in black. Yeah. It's <laughs> it's quite an exciting price, guys. So please start hashtagging uh, yeah. on our show. Okay. Yeah. We will we will remind you guys every morning to do this during the show, mm -hmm. and uh, you stand a chance to win this on Friday morning. Go. Cool. So yeah, before, before you started giving an um, update on this fabulous, I, I, I think, a fantastic competition, mm. um, we were talking about COVID. Yes. And mm. that was, it's almost fun, controversy. Hey, hey. hey. That was Lila Khastra. That was Lila. Oh, Mukurwaji. Yeah. So mm. we now know Dr. Aofiku is gone. Mm. Uh, he's no longer <laughs> the... Namibia's Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Namibia's Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Kuma. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, is it okay? Uh, Namibian Sun um, headline. What? Shangula got me fired. Yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw it in one of the dailies. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but, but we need to make a distinction. I know that's what media understood, but I spoke myself personally to to Doctor Alfiku yesterday, and he said um, there were uh, his his dismissal letter had other attachments, including the recommendation by. Shangula not to work with him. Now, yeah. make a distinction. Shangula's recommendation was for Dr. Aofiku to be removed 
from the COVID-19 task, task force. force. Yeah. Yeah. Because apparently, you know, he, he takes information that are said in meetings, takes it to the media, he's too vocal, he's not working well with them. They have basically that there's a clash in personalities. They don't, he doesn't know how to work. He's not a team player. So this was Shangula's suggestion to, to the president was for him to be removed from the task team. A task yeah. force, or I don't know what you guys want to call yeah. it. Um, but then, obviously, um, the president took it one step further, just and just and fired him from. Because, because I believe uh, uh, with the with the documents attached was also the an article. Observer yeah. article. Yes, the mm. observer article. I think the Rep I think the Republican also ran an article yeah, that was so. all attached to it but yes so the recommendation was just for him to be removed from the not to lose his job to be removed from the task for of, on the COVID-19 and the president to say the president cake is so there is the door it is a sad story but he's you know he's a medical doctor I think yeah. he was oh, he's a practicing Practice, yeah mm. he's a practicing medical doctor mm. um he will never be on the streets yeah um yeah. Ho hopefully uh we can hope um, <laughs> but he's never, he's not your typical politicians. And generally what I find is if you don't have, if you're not a typical politician, it's your, your stay in government is very short lived. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. That's why I will never be able to survive. You see a team player, uh, a politician. Is no, I'm not a politician. They, 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 team they, player they, they, I am. They, they 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 work on a certain wavelength and if actually you saw me do AM wavelength and then sub FM then no, no it's it it's like for example how you you know if if you are disgruntled or you are not even disgruntled if you're frustrated mm. with let's say the system let's say your brilliant ideas are not being taken up or you feel like things are stalling or you feel like your projects are not nobody's yeah. really listening to what you're saying and people are just doing what you want to do as, as a politician generally you you just bite your tongue and keep it moving you just become yeah part of the system of just biting your tongue and going what we saw with how fiku is he has a tendency to to speak out yeah he, he Why, doesn't whatever just doesn't agree. please him he will speak no. up you call him he will speak up even yesterday he was very candid when i spoke to him he didn't hold back anything um and that's just the personality he is now mm. he is then what we what politicians would uh, call a recluse and with a recluse is as in it you want yeah politicians don't like the they don't truth. like that they don't yeah. like that they want things under wraps um, reckless or recluse recluse is recluse not somebody who's who keeps yeah but because it's not like them ah yeah no yeah, yeah. no in that in that sense yeah. he's a recluse he's a recluse yeah uh, what was funny yesterday is that um i saw a video clip of him doing an interview Mm -hmm. um, or giving an interview, I don't know which media house that came from or who posted. It was it. Yeah, it was a Republican just, that posted it. Okay. I think, yeah. And <laughs> I think first and foremost, what was funny is that before he started, I would say first and foremost, I would just like to wish the president, the president a, a, happy, a birthday. happy birthday. It is his birthday, right? Yeah, it <laughs> is his birthday, right? That's his birthday so, yesterday. Yeah. So I just want to say happy birthday <laughs> to the president, uh, even though he fired me today. <laughs> Yeah, I think um, it's, uh, and, and guys, we've been speaking about this for a while now, I think for the last couple of weeks, that um, this pandemic is so serious at this moment in time that uh, the last thing we need is politicking yeah. in any which way. Especially because we COVID don't want any, any part of this pandemic to be politicized in any which way. So um, the... Government obviously, or the president uh, and uh, the minister of health, have their reasons as to uh, as to why they let him go. He has his reasons why he mm. decided um, to 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 speak out continuously. Why he went to 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 one or two media houses to 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 voice his frustrations, etc. Um, and yes, again, I think at the start of this pandemic in March, um, um, he was very vocal in terms of uh, what we need to do what strategies we need to follow and then all of a sudden to the man net weg yeah i think it was just a, as a national he was the uh, national coordinator of yeah. The, yeah, the the planning coordinator I think yeah. somewhere the there. yeah he was a national coordinator i think for covid-19 i think he only lasted in that position yeah. for a week yeah he didn't last somebody uh tobias uh, it's very difficult to get the comments here because it's just um, that uh, what is the need of having 
president uh, health advisor and the minister of health both are doctors in the same remuneration mm. so basically it's probably just say why do you need an advisor for if you have a minister of health at the same time maybe bra mm. we've been asking that question is it not like a duplication of it's not even that you have let me tell you you have you have your ministers and then you have your deputy ministers and then you have your pss that are called now the executive directors right mm -hmm. like for 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 educ for health it's ben ben nangobe um and then you have your advisors on health related matters. matters and that is a, a, a advisors is a new phenomenon that was introduced by the the hager uh, regime and this is at a time when we were saying um, you, you reduce the wage bill, reduce the wage bill. It's it's bloated. There's no money. The economy is is is, is struggling. Um, and what do they do? They introduce advisors. They some some minis some uh, ministries got two deputies. Um, and then on top of that, like I said, you still have your your PSs, which are now executive directors. So it's just it's almost yeah. senseless. So. It, I, I almost don't understand what an advisor would do when I think um, what a special advisor is should fundamentally be what an executive director, director is to is. the president. Or then, because those are the administrators uh, of any minis ministry, uh, the executive directors. But it, it's never made sense to me. I actually thought into the second term he's, he's going to do away with with um, the special advisors because I know there's just been so much slack and uh, he got a lot of um, criticism for, for, for having them. So I really thought he was going to do away with them, but no, we still have special advisors. I, I don't know what their mm. function is necessarily. Hey, Virginia, Namibians, uh, <coughs> I just checked on the stream now. Over 400 comments. And now because they're going to get something for free. <laughs> but for free. <laughs> no one said, come on, The economy is not like me. Yeah, yeah. Eh? yeah. 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 No, it's true. Yeah, no, this economy is really uh, 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 Leslie Lebron said, Neville, uh, start safe Salni for the platform Verni. Mm. Go back to the drawing board, please. <laughs> it's just too much start safe. Start you got safe. the bots over there. <laughs> No, come on. I think it's um, let's let's give it. Come on, stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Save no Ray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, please just uh, uh, still be part of the com the the comments. Yeah. Okay. Um, it is something to give back to you guys because I mean you guys have been exceptional for the last couple of months um, on on the show. So we really just want to give something back. So let's let's try to be accommodative towards each other. I know. Mike, I said they are, they are comma stats brought. Stats <laughs> brought. Yeah. I see yeah. the people are advising each other now. Comma <laughs> guys, please just post at the beginning and don't. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said yesterday when we were discussing it upstairs, it's comma sim rot. Sim rot. Sim rot. But yeah. Um, um, just, yeah. Just very to get uh, highly contributed here, uh, Nuyoma saying but politicians hate the truth and uh, the doctor was a thorn in the flesh yeah you know this this the, the, there are opinions that he would have he would have been able to fight the COVID 19 and he would have done a phenomenal we can't know for sure yeah i think i think it's easy to to say to criticize the the people that are doing the work and to look obviously for leadership outside like oh if they had just implemented this guy's suggestion or if they've just done what he had said we we wouldn't be where we are right now it's easy to say that but we can't know for sure mm, yeah. um that that would have been maybe we maybe we would have been better off or maybe we would have been worse off or maybe yeah. we would have been exactly the where we are right now um but yeah i guess people are always looking for a hero um, in times like this, I don't necessarily, I mean, and I like Dr. Afiko as well. Yeah. I mean, and you guys know I'm biased because my uncle is Dr. Shangula, but, <laughs> <laughs> but, Ooh, um, this nepotism in the <laughs> but, but I will say that I don't necessarily see him as a hero either. So. Yeah. Just, mm. just, just on that, uh, topic right there, uh, VK Kamati came through saying, unfortunately you have people within your cycle mm. that you must employ. Mm. So you are up to create more posts for them, sometimes unnecessarily. 
So you have okay. an advisor, you have a secretary, you have an executive. I, 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 I do think that, um, you know, the ideal situation would have been if they could have worked together. Because again, all this expertise that we have in our country, whether it's Dr. Shangula, whether it's Dr. Aufiku, we all need the expertise at this moment. Yeah, no, no, what's the point but of having an advisor if I, you're not no, listening no, no, to no, him? No, no, but no, I, I understand. All I'm just saying is that, you know, for him to be out of the equation now completely, um, it's, it's, it's medical expertise that we just might, or that government just might lose. There are um, lots of medical experts, but I will no, say, no, but, but, but no, let true. me just give a little bit. Dr. Alfico, I, I when it's not the first time we're hearing he's not a team player. Do you remember uh, yeah. he, with him and his PS, Mombola? Mombol, Mombolini? Mombola? They also, had, they also had issues. And again, it was that it's difficult for them, for to, them. to work together. And at the time, they had removed uh, Mombola. Uh, Andrea Mombola. I, I, the I, can't I, I don't I know why I never is like his, his video. This was a video in. Yo, do you know fun stories, man? Set camera, Mombola. Yeah. So that is all I. <laughs> that is all I remember of him. <laughs> anyway, so but at the time, the the PS at the time and and kept uh, Dr. Alfiku there, but um, so it's not. It's not new that he's not a team player. I don't know if he's not, mm. but I'm just saying those claims that he's n not easy to work with are not are not um, new, but not easy to work well, with. But yeah, but not easy. Back. Yeah, but not easy to work with. Also, doesn't uh, mean that he is um, not effective because yeah. we need to make that distinction. Some people are difficult to work with, but they're very effective, effective at what they yeah. do. I don't know if that's the case. I could do him. a much Zimbabwe. Yeah, so it's. <laughs> okay. So you don't have two bulls in the crowd. <laughs> oh, no worry. Check, check, never. Okay, uh, Natangwe. For Marius, no, King Marius, what para deriva buses? Natangwe, Natangwe came through saying the special advisor positions were abolished. Ministers don't have advisors anymore, and some ministries don't have deputy ministers. No, the the advisors talk about advisor to the president. Those, like the Desiree Matthias is still an advice on you, Matthias, for example, to the president. Uh, you still have... How many advisors does the president I don't have? know how many they are right now. The, the, the king, back in the, you know, if you check in these old uh, big history movies, king only had one advisor. Yeah. A wife is also an advisor. The most important advisor. It's an most influencer. Most important, yeah. It's an influencer. Uh... I'm trying to get comments here. Uh, start safe. Uh, it means a pump, my car is on start safe. <laughs> you guys created yeah. chaos. Yeah, check, check. Yeah. <laughs> now I cannot. Uh, apparently, he seems uh, pretty clued up about COVID as opposed to the current minister. Sorry to say, that's Ndavu Nyango coming through with that comment. Mm -hmm. thing referring to Dr. Ofigu. Yeah. Uh, Joshua came through saying... Uh, Dr. Ofiku should join the movement with uh, Dr. Stella. She, <laughs> has a, she, has a, <laughs> she has a powerful message. The States. What is with this Chinese army story, Yoga? Yeah, um, I, I heard a, a video clip yesterday uh -huh. with a very strong German Afrikaans. They say, oh, the, 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 the Chinese Hasin. Gee, I can't even have a German Afrikaans accent <laughs> here. I'm really trying, but I'm failing miserably here. But yeah, uh, in short, um, I don't know what this is all about. Um, apparently, I said no Chinese military. There's a Chinese military <sighs> here. Um, I don't know what this is all about, Maria. Maybe I don't you can know share any. I any I don't like, like I don't like to share anything that's not verified. Yeah. So I I've not verified anything. I don't want to like be the the bearer of fake news and spread that. I mm. haven't verified, but once we verify, obviously we'll we'll have a story on it. Um uh, but yeah, I can't comment for now. Yeah. No, uh, if you have any problems with verifying this, I will speak to my sources <laughs> from from my hometown. Because there we give verified information. Very <laughs> Groot, <laughs> Groot winkels. Yeah. We don't like lies. Lies. 
gossiping. Yeah. That's how people knew Delicia and Reggie were together. <laughs> yeah, maybe you guys, um, I've seen some pictures and I, I just didn't want to read all of this. Um, I, see so, I saw some Chinese flagged armored vehicles. Uh, being transported i saw the pictures uh, but i didn't mind reading it maybe you guys can can give us a little bit more context to this um I, all i know is that apparently close to karibab there was a um there's a media statement from the ministry of defense that there's going to be a military exercise in the area of karibab mm -hmm. over this i think over the over the weekend mm -hmm. so if you hear doof 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 okay then, and um, uh, it's just a military exercise, exercise that, they are having. that they are having. So it could be that we have, and I'm just speculating, it could be that these guys are part of this military exercise. Again, as much as we're not at war, our soldiers also need a little bit of training. Because you people are accusing our soldiers of being fat and unfit. So let them train. Let okay. them trim. Let me get some but of I the can't, comments. I don't know if these two <clears throat> incidents or events are connected to each other in any which way. Maybe they got uh, special advisors as Chinese to the army. <laughs> yeah, <no. Ooh. laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Davu, uh, I think I did... Uh, no, but let me just read. Uh, we, uh, we, the doctors, uh, liked his honest approach. And he was a hard worker. Made a difference with his uh, outreaches. He is a loss uh, to the ministry. Uh. And uh, Eli also coming through. And if you check well, the advice plaque have been off service. They didn't have communication. <laughs> can I um, can I read? Leslie yeah. Kamuseb says those military equipment are headed to Botswana. People must research uh. before making a noise. Thanks, Thank Leslie. You. Thanks, Leslie. Really appreciate that. And uh, Lichi came through saying, Sam, skip so many comments. I, I, guys, unfortunately, it's, I cannot really... I, it's, you know, I think we have difficult. to really look at this um, yeah, it's very Start difficult. Save campaign. Uh, do we have to announce it every day? Because we're going to find ourselves in this situation. It's just a week that we need to bear with this. Yeah. It's just a week. We're going to announce a winner on Friday morning. That's it. So... Let's now I'm saying they can do this, they say, but do we need to announce it every day to tell them to do it? Or can we do it at the end of the show? Whether we do it in the beginning <laughs> or the end of the show, they need, they need to post in order to be able to come yes, into Yes, and they can, more. but I'm saying towards the end. Because now, well, the struggle we're having now is mm. because of so many you so say, many, we yeah. cannot get to the comments. To the comments, yeah. So that the audience, again, is part of the show. Yeah. Because of the so many you say. So I'm saying maybe we can announce it, but let's start, start, start announcing it perhaps the last 10 minutes the, the last, of the yeah. show for those that have forgotten okay. so that we deal with those comments towards the end of the show not in the middle of the show where it's becoming difficult Roviera Groot Winkels Owens is the grootste skinderbekke It's never that Jay Hey Wena Jay moet nie beer vat nie Jay nie Um Sean Sean Nauda is old also said it is an old video of the military going to bots Okay it's an old video You see this is the problem I have Can, can I just sometimes Ooh. I wonder mm. right do people sit in their houses and create this yeah. false information to hype? It is so unnecessary. You even find where they duplicate like official documents and you know that it's all fake news. Or they take, for example, the banner of the Namibian and create this and fake create news, their own news and, yeah. and spread it. And you can't, if you know, if you know, you know it's wrong. But there are a lot of people that are so gullible that they just kind of fall into this trap. But I don't understand this sensation of fake news. Why would you want to falsely alarm people? It's especially at a time, especially when you know people are so gullible. There's absolutely no need. And all uh, those people are going to hell. And, and I've actually <laughs> noticed... Uh, eh? <laughs> just, just, just what Mary has said. Eh? <laughs> Do you know that the fake news travel faster than real news? Yes, no, it, it travels sadly, fast. Sadly. It travels fast. I mean, I saw about a week ago, I think about two weeks ago, at the, at the, uh, when, when the daughter of Nelson Mandela passed on, Zinzi. Mm. Mm. When Zinzi passed on, there was a video claiming to be the funeral of Zinzi Mandela. 
where people are, I mean, there were so many people in front of this house. And they say, you see, this is not Zinzi's funeral, masks. they're not wearing masks, blah, blah, blah. Why blah, would blah, you blah. do that? And, and just for, you know, people to come back and say, you know what, this is fake. This is not yeah, Zinzi's it's funeral. So old. It's an old picture. This, these, are, these are old, uh, this is an old funeral. It's got nothing to do with Zinzi's funeral. So, like you do say, Maria, we have so many of these videos that, that just, I mean, there are videos that I have not seen in maybe three, four years. Mm. And it makes its way again. Yeah. And it's basically sold off as something that happened recently and in complete different circumstances. Yeah. So um, I, see, I see even though the situation, just by the way, our, our thoughts are with our Zimbabwean brothers yeah. and sisters. Oh. Um, with everything that's happening there, it's it's. I, I wish more people were making noise on it, mm. uh, because it is it is a very very sad situation. And 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 I mean, yesterday I went on social media to criticize our government because they were very quick to issue a press statement on Black Lives Matter, mm. which is good and well. Show solidarity to the brothers and sisters in America. Mm. But the fact that we're still very quiet mm. on the things that are just happening in yeah. our backyard, qu quite literally, I consider Zimbabwe mm. our backyard because we are so close and they are our brothers and sisters. Um, and there's just, there's nothing. People are just mum. But I guess it's this protecting each other because they don't want to call um, Nagagwa out mm. because that's a fellow African president. But there is human rights violations and the fact that we are not saying anything and the fact that our leadership is mum on this the fact that we're not rejecting this is is preposterous and it's very very concerning and just by the way um while we're on that topic i read something very very interesting and if you allow me to share it i'll, I'll, I'll be happy to do it um but you know i, I was reading up on this um, zimbabwean situation and, and 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 so forth and i was surprised to find out that uh, Emerson, is that, am I saying it Emerson? Em 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 Emerson. Emerson, I, I, I don't know if I'm Emer saying Emerson Munangagwa. Yes. Mm. He apparently is a, is a far worse leader in terms of the, than, than Mugabe. Than mm. Mugabe. This is what people are saying. Yeah, I, but I, just look at the stats and I'll, and I'll quickly read mm. them. It says, the number of opposition activists mm. charged with a form of treason yeah. during Nangagwa's three years, three years in office is already higher than during Mugabe's entire tenure. We know Mugabe was in, 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 in leadership for 37 yeah. years, um, according to research by a coalition of 22 Zimbabwean rights groups. So in three years, he's able to charge and try people for, with treason and get them arrested, activists that are speaking up against, against. The, the brutality and what's happening in government. In three years, he's, dead, he's arrested and charged p more people than in Mugabe's entire yeah, 37, 37 years. years. It is crazy when you think about that number. Mm. But you cannot speak up about government. You cannot speak up about corruption. Just by the way, that mm. corruption with the minister, with the COVID, that uh, inflated yeah, yeah, yeah. prices and with the machines. Ago. The guy got fired, the minister, but he wasn't charged. But the the journalist that exposed this corruption got, got, arrested. got arrested how do you arrest the person that exposed the corruption and then the minister who committed the corruption all he did was got fired but he's sitting at home no charges nothing it's done, it's done. guys you, you know what and yeah maria we had we had this discussion about zimbabwe last weekend last week and it's 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 really painful to sit here and 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 think about what Zimbabweans are going through at this moment. I've I've seen some harrowing pictures yesterday yeah. of of the of the of the abuse of police yes. uh, and the army in Zimbabwe yesterday. Um, and and did you see that picture with a woman laying down exactly. after they beat her and the police are just walking past? The, uh, and, and what I can't understand, you know what? I had so much hope for Zimbabweans. Uh, when Emerson Munangagwa um, took office yeah. um, because we really thought, you know, this could be, you know, a birth of a new nation. Yeah. Um, just take the yoke of whatever has happened during the tenure restore of Mugabe. Restore that. the country, and, yeah. And then again, I speak to a lot of my Zimbabwean friends here yeah. in Namibia and, and everybody has been extremely hopeful. 
And, and if you hear what Emerson Munangaga went through in, in fleeing Zimbabwe after Mugabe tried to get hold of him, okay, and you have been so sympathetic towards this guy. He fled to South Africa, he came back, and he became the president of, of Zimbabwe. Of Zimbabwe. And to have statistics like, like this, this, it's very bad. You know, sometimes yeah. we advocate for change, yeah. but uh, change just because. I, I was just, uh, because uh, they say thousands of South Africans have basically joined Zimbabweans in the protest and calls for a just and less yeah. corrupt government. Yeah. Yeah. You're seeing the hashtag, hashtag Zimbabwe. Lives matter. Yes. Yeah. 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 Lives matter. Em Emily, uh, I wanted to read this because it's very, very important. Watch this. Uh, I don't know if it's a he or she, Emil Emilia McGorgeous. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming it's a woman. Says, Emerson was the guy behind Mugabe. He is or was always there during Mugabe's dictatorship. He mm. is not called the crocodile for nothing. Mm. Do your research on that mm. guy. Yes, and it yeah, is very correct. That, they do call name. him, yes, the, his nickname is the crocodile. Yeah. And that's just because he's ruthless and brutal. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have had high expectations, but it is really sad. I mean, we're talking about, I think, seven dead already in this protest. Yeah. Uh, um, it, 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 it's bad. Yeah, that was just what I read yesterday. It could it could be higher, and then like, I mean, countless others arrested. Yeah, I, uh, I was reading uh, just some of the arrests that they made. Uh, amongst the people that were arrested, we have uh, Matembe Msifa of Bulawalo. He was arrested for publicly carrying a Zimbabwean flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, uh, and. Uh, there's a 22-year-old a media student uh, from, uh, I think his name is uh, Tawanda. He, he was severely beaten, Popular tortured, yes, I saw that and uh, made to drink his own urine during his abduction last yeah. week. Let, let, what, what few, let, let, me te let me tell you, so I think, uh, is it a month ago, they arrest two female activists that speak up about whatever. They rape them, right? They rape them. And then when they were eventually released, spoke out on this rape during um, when they were, ba they basically just kidnap you, right? So you're walking down, put you in a van and you're gone. So they took them wherever, it wasn't in prison. Uh, government officials raped them. They came out, spoke on this sexual violation. And you know what they did? Apparently, then they took them for tests because, but when they spoke out, it was maybe a week after the, because it was after they were released went to go do the test obviously they are these are grown women so they'd already yeah. they are sexually active i'm not saying they were sexually active in this time but they're not yeah, virgins yeah. then came and charged them apparently for lying or accusing the state or, or or falsifying information to claims of rape and then they got charged and in prison how does that i mean please make <sighs> it make sense yeah. somebody speaks up about this sexual violation during incarceration <laughs> And then, then you, do you get charged judged. because apparently you're lying about it. Mm, 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 mm. It's, it's sad what's happening in Zimbabwe. And the fact that I, I would like each and every one of our leaders to be speaking up on this, yeah. to be calling out the leadership. Did, did, did our leaders actually say something about this? No. No, they have Ahab, not. Ahaba, Ahaba Minister of International Relations. Why are they quiet? They spoke up on Black Lives Matter. I would like it to start the Ministry of yeah. International Relations. I mean, we have the presidential press secretary. What's his name? Um, Hengari. Hengari. Always active, putting out stuff when it's media. He's got something to say all the time uh, when it's issues with the media. But he's not putting out a press release for Zimbabwe. Come on, guys. Yo. Let us do something. Uh, sure. Leonard D. Uh, Samuel came through saying all oh, those military guys need to go. Same poison, different animal. Mm -hmm. And uh, Castro Paul, Zimbabwe is under dictatorship. Namibia is under swapoship. I can <laughs> never. Yeah. can never have passed it. Ah, ah. <laughs> don't come for swapo because you, you have the right. We have democratic elections the minute you go there at the ballot and you tick up you cannot come and tick up and come and complain that you're under swapoship yeah mm. <laughs> if you're not happy you do what you need to do at the next elections Mamuni, no com is your democratic yeah. right yeah uh, and, and, and just by the way please do not and i know namibia has its problems but sometimes we really do make a mistake of comparing, yeah, comparing. ourselves to states like zimbabwe like namibia is you we cannot are we not are not 
we and have the body. reason i can sit in the studio and criticize government and do what i do and still walk out of here alive and without being kept and without being raped and still safely home is because we do have press freedom and press we, freedom, we, we yeah. are able to Good. say what we think without repercussions yeah. so don't come if i was in zimbabwe this radio also Ons, alma Ons, and Ons, 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 we would have all been in jail the so, Ar- missile club they yeah. kind of they say let's go uh yeah. emilia came through the only reason he fled is uh, because he wanted to be in the front line now as president yep. uh-huh. and They're had cool. the whole fallout with uh, mugabe mm-hmm. yeah very good yeah. makes me sad yeah very very sad yeah uh never the hashtag is your fault <laughs> <laughs> never the hashtag is your fault there's somebody that asked uh, what what about us that are overseas huh mm, you can't no, wh- why are you hashtagging to do what must we get the sim card to you now we're in london or or kananda kananda Pudi. huh <laughs> Well, we're more Canada, but it's TV. Yeah, it's TV. I mean, no, me aku tara, me aku vena, me vanga aku tara. Are you going to buy? Ah, Don DJ Monday, you deserve to be blocked. You are abusing the hashtag. That's safe. Okay, uh, <laughs> we're, we're stopping the stream now. Yeah. We, we will go and uh, rethink. Okay, because yo, how many comments are there? I Probably seven hundred comments. I've <laughs> never seen so many comments in this. Yeah, and most of them are start saying. <laughs> uh, so, uh, listen what uh, Jefferson uh, Nyemba is saying. Maria, uh, watch your mouth. Politicians are listening. <laughs> Mm, it's my <laughs> uh, the bread will fall out of your mouth. Yeah. Uh, no, and I've, and I've Ellen, been doing this for over 15 years. I think I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I need to talk to some of your employer guys. Uh. Do they even know that you are using the Wi-Fi for the hashtags? That's <laughs> it. <laughs> That's it <laughs> coming through right there. <laughs> Okay, you know what? If, you, uh. <laughs> if, if people know that they're going to get 48 gigs of TN Mobile Friday morning then you have a situation like this over 750 yeah comments. apparently that time uh, uh, that time when you post the hashtag just because everyone else is you know people have this thing of just following stuff without mm. actually knowing why people are doing hello, it hello, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. if you're walking down the street and you see people running past you you also gonna start running? Why not? Oh, that club. They get new. You don't ask. Come on, run. Ask later. That's it. Oh, that club. Oh, that's a bad club. They have this prank show in in Kenya. Yeah. Where they have people who you would have guys who just walk up like five six guys, and they suddenly duck. Yeah. yeah. And then people see them duck and they're like, hey. <laughs> so, so. So everybody, you do, you, you go with the flow. You, you do what other people are doing. But yeah, thank you very yeah. much, guys. That was our show for today. That's our show, That's for, the show day. for the yeah. day. So and, and yeah, Maria, mm-hmm. yeah. From here going forward mm-hmm. on this show, mm-hmm. ne, me, Cubase, and Semi, we will be vetting any guests that you bring into <laughs> the show. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we will decide if that person yeah. <laughs> but the, allowed. Some guys get a very good uh, welcoming with big hugs and smiles yeah, and all the good Ricky? word. Uh, Reggie. 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 Mm. Um, I've, I've <coughs> known Reggie from just seeing him yeah, yeah. For, for, for quite some time. Very quiet, unassuming guy. Yeah, yeah. And um, so we would just, you know, salute out. Salute. Yeah. I actually know we read you yeah. from uh, I've, I've when he was, I think, high school. You know, I, 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 you know what I second about this guy? He was really, he was staying with his sisters, eh? Yeah. And he was the only breadwinner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still today so he takes you can care imagine of his, he yeah. takes care of his sisters. Yeah. With his mother yeah. as well. Takes care of his and mother. his mother as well. So, you know, just seeing this boy going to school, coming back from school and still just hustling to make sure that he takes care of his sisters. Mm, mm. Was he's very a, yeah, good, he's, yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know Reggie for about 10 years as well. Mm. Um, a great guy, like I said, yeah, like yeah, you yeah. said. Um, he's just one of those guys. is very responsible. Does his thing. Um, and over the years, we've obviously built um, a, a stronger friendship, and we've worked together as well creatively. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm really excited for him uh, to get this project because if if anybody deserves it, it's it's Reggie. And I mean, I've I've seen him on a on on a few 
an um, animal because he works for him. Yeah, yeah. And I've seen him on a few animal flights. So, mm. so yeah. But kudos to him, and he's waving the flag high. Yes, yeah. very so, high. And it's and it's good. It's really really good. So. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, with that, guys, uh, let's uh, call it uh, cheers for now. Don't forget, Dirk will be joining you between 12 and 1 on the hour. Uh, I think you will be having uh, some of the Trasco guests in the studio. I think IOL will be joining him this afternoon. So if you want to find out more, please do make a 10 with him. Till tomorrow. Bye bye. Chop, chop. <laughs>